Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So we're back in Medieval Engineers with another video that developers have provided me with. Now this has a little bit of a look at cogs, cranks, and gear systems. Now I've not had any hands-on experience, so I don't really know the limitations and the sort of possibilities of using a system like this, but you can see as the player actually cranks the system, he's turning a piece of wood that in turn turns a crank, that in turn basically rotates a massive gear system you can see over in the distance now this could be used maybe for some sort of machinery to maybe to refine resources or turn different resources into different materials but i'm not too sure at this moment in time but what is actually showing you is how these items are constructed and how they can be constructed in different sorts of configurations so we've got that main beam that's running through the shaft at what looks to be some sort of propeller at one end now they've also showed you here these sort of extended sort of arms so maybe you could use this in some sort of mill or some sort of grinding or how to say wood cutting facility you can see that we've got some sort of arms connecting with each other there powering across maybe even in the future with the water facility we might have a little bit of a, a waterfall cascading over a sort of windmill that then just turns the turbine and then cuts wood or does whatever i mean it's all possibilities now at the moment now this system it looks at a little bit differently and this is he's trying to show you how to pull out and disengage the actual rotors and the gears mechanism so first of all it just shows you how it's all working as one unit and it heads over to this little block here that's like a lever that he seems to pull out and disengage one of the gears itself so that means maybe if you're connecting it up to multiple axes you can disengage one and engage another to access some sort of door system or something that you're building but it was just very exciting to actually have a mess around with and have a look at what they're actually trying to do with it and you can see he comes to the other side and there's two light pirate wheels in there that are working as the sort of cog mechanism and you see as he's disengaged it it's just turning one straight sort of piston or maybe you can use that to counter rotate them and rotate them in a different direction all quite interesting so now he's climbing the tower and it shows some sort of turbine blade what it looks like to be on the top something that's been created and as he's adding pressure to both sides of this platform he's actually turning the um, rotor on top very interesting indeed now this is what i was really excited to have a look at is some of the catapults now these catapults seem to have some sort of elastic -y sort of tension rope a rope really ten high tensionly coiled around the front part so when this rope is actually released it fires the rock forward so i don't know how they cut the rope at the moment maybe it's simply as just clicking on it and it releases the rock forward but it is super cool being able to build these sort of medieval weaponry and maybe it's as simple as connecting the rope back up and cranking that crank back down to actually get it working. You can see that we've actually got um, a sort of bath of shot to the left as well. Now this is um, another primitive catapult design. Really interesting, just showing that not all designs will work and you'll have to prove and sort of test your designs in that sort of nature. Anyway, I found it really interesting looking at these cogs and these mechanisms, even though I'm not too sure exactly what the possibilities and limitations of them will be at the moment it's something fun to look forward to and maybe you could even build some sort of um, mining facility or something in the future i had a few different designs i looked through some historical documents you can see i found an image here maybe something like this in the future to cut wood 